Oh my god. I'm so good. Stop what you're doing right now. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You guys know I have big goals out here. I wanna hit 100K on this YouTube channel. So help me do that by hitting that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Also trying to hit 10K so I can give you guys a swipe up link. Like, that's all I want. I'm so happy today. It's gonna be a good day, let's go. Okay, so I was about to walk out here and make me the bombest breakfast ever. Don't get me wrong, I'm still about to do that, but. What is this mess that we have here? Um, does anybody else do this? Like, why is there this many boxes? Why? I need to clean that up. I can't function with a kitchen that looks like this. Why is it so hard to just be So I cleaned my house and now I'm gonna be making breakfast. I want some Mexican food. We can have that, but make it healthy. I'm gonna be making some breakfast tacos. I wanna make these juicy, you know, like so good. Like it's really bad for me, but it's not. So we're gonna attempt that today. Let's get the ingredient. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a white onion. Of course, we need some avocado. We gotta make that guac. Of course, a lime, like for the flavor, you know? I got a jalapeno we're gonna add in there for that spice, that natural spicy flavor. I got some tomato. Then I got some cilantro. Like, what is a taco without a cilantro? Like, I just don't get it. I got these new tortillas from Whole Foods last night. So I wanted to try them. I'm going to eat these because I already bought them, but don't. This has gum in here, additives, cane sugar, why? Why? Don't fall for it. Don't fall for the hype. The last ingredient, of course, is some eggs. I'm just gonna be using the egg white today, so. In my last What I Eat a Weekend, a lot of you guys said you would like to have the measurements to my food, so I'm gonna start saying measurements in my food. I don't mean to trigger anybody. If that makes you uncomfortable, please click on the video. You do not have to watch. Don't laugh at me. I'm really bad at this part. All we could do is try to get the egg white. Oh, and we fail miserably, miserably. Getting better. I'm becoming a chef. Chef boy, our Alexis. All right, first though, we gotta season it up. Celtic salts. I love this salt, but I do like to use it. I don't like to use a lot of sodium in my diet. I'm sure you guys have picked up on that now. I'm gonna use some, some powdered garlic with no sodium. Next, we're gonna use some chili peppers. Trader Joe's 21 seasoning, you know how I do. Cayenne red pepper, you don't. You can skip this part if you don't like spice. I'm gonna put this like chili blend that I got. I got it from Trader Joe's and it looks like that. So I just took this off. With this, you literally get the perfect round egg. I literally am obsessed with that. Whipping it on the other side, letting it cook, letting it cook it up, and you'll see what we're gonna do next. Next thing I'm gonna chop up is some veggie. You don't need that much unless you want a lot of onion, but. We're only having two tacos, so. Oh, the world's most sensitive eyes when it comes to onion, literally. The jalapeno, just a few pieces, but very finely as well. I'm really gonna cut up like half of this tomato. I'm gonna add that to my onion. Now, let's make the guacamole. For breakfast, I can basically only have one eighth of an avocado. It actually makes a lot, so you just cut it in half. It's a half of a half, basically. First things first, we're gonna squirt some lime juice up in here. Okay, now this is my favorite part. In my guac that I like to make is some chili flakes, everyday natural seasonings from Trader Joe's, 21 seasonings, garlic powder, and some onion powder. If you don't have this tool, I got it from Home Goods for $9, so go pick it up. It just changes the game when it comes to avocado toast, making guacamole, you absolutely need this. Okay, so now I'm gonna heat up my tortillas, and someone commented you should just use a pan. I could, but I grew up putting it on the stove like this, so if you know, you know. So I'm gonna use my favorite green chili mix to lay over the egg. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it into slices so it can fit into the taco. And then take some, just a fresh tomato on there. And then of course, my baby girl, Cholula. And these look bomb. 
So I still like to drink something like icy or hot in the morning just to get my day started, just to feel like I'm drinking something that has caffeine in it and is gonna do something for me, placebo effect, you know. This is one of my favorite things to do with my Your Super Blends is make drinks with all the superfoods because it just tastes so good. So I'm gonna make like a nice hot latte this morning, but with just nothing but superfoods in it. I've been doing that a lot lately and I'm just craving it again this morning. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been making. I've been wanting to become more self-sufficient and just learn how to make homemade things. And that way we really know what's going in it. I'm gonna make my own oat milk. So the first thing you need to do is soak your oats for 30 minutes, which as you can see, I already did. You just soak it in water. And this is so easy, you guys. We're just gonna now blend this up. And also what you're gonna need is like a cheesecloth. I got mine at Whole Foods, literally hanging next to like the drink section. Very easy to find. I'll try to link one if I can find one on Amazon. So I just have a strainer that has very tiny holes in it. So let's pour them in here. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is fill this up with four cups of water and then we'll add in the oats. So, and you wanna make sure that it is clean water, filtered water. The whole point of us making it is to make sure we make clean oat milk. Then we're gonna go ahead and just add the oats inside. Then I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of each of these. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna eyeball it, but I don't want a lot of vanilla. So I'm just gonna put, put a few drops in here and then a teaspoon of honey. Give it a little bit more taste. You can add salt. I'm not a salt person, but it could make it taste better. So now you just wanna blend it until it's smooth. Okay, so now that it's blended, I'm just gonna take my cheesecloth, put it in here, and then just pour over my oatmeal. And you just wanna lift it up and squeeze all the milk out. Okay, so I pour it back in here, and then I just pour it into this little bottle, and I have my own milk for the week. And I get these bottles at Whole Foods, they're like 10 bucks. I haven't perfected the recipe, so you can try it. I probably will be making changes to it. I really wanna make it perfect. Okay, so now that I'm in the oat milk, I'm gonna make my little superfood latte. You guys, this is why I love your super so much because you can do so many different things with them. So I'm gonna take the Moon Balance one that I always use just because it has a really sweet taste to it. You have hibiscus, beetroot, and you have maca in here, a lot of just good stuff in here. So I take this for the base of my latte for the flavor. And then for energy, since I'm not drinking the caffeine, I wanna take energy just from superfood. So I'm gonna use their energy balm, add one teaspoon of this. I wanna start adding collagen to my everyday drink. So I'm gonna add some collagen. Collagen is just good for so many things. Okay, so now that that's heated up, I'm gonna go ahead and add some Moon Balance in here. Three tablespoons of the Moon Balance. You can add more if you want. I just like the flavor of this a lot. One tablespoon of this, of the Energy Balm. If you need a lot of energy, you can add more. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of this. So now what we're gonna do is make our little ice latte. I know I said I wanted it hot, but I got some ice. I'm just switching it up like that all the time. First things first, of course, just add your ice. I'm gonna go ahead and take our mixture and pour it in. And then I'm just gonna take our oat milk that we made. Look how good she looks. Like, do I need to say anything? Like, bomb. All we have is homemade oat milk and a whole bunch of superfoods. Like, can it get any better than this? I'm going all out for my breakfast this morning. That's because I love myself. I love when I just sit down and make myself a bomb meal like this. And I just put my all into it. There's nothing like it. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so good. Mm. Mm. So I wanted to show you guys my superfood mixes that I have. You guys know I'm literally obsessed with your super and I wanna thank your super for sponsoring this video. I'm obsessed with them. I talk about them all the time. And I just love the fact that I'm working with a company that I'm just so aligned with genuinely. You guys can make so many different recipes with them, but also just throw them in your food. They actually last quite a while, about a month and a half for me. It's just depending on how much you're using them. So Your Super Superfoods was created to help people boost their health and allow people to understand what they're putting in their body. Every Your Superfood mix contains five to six dried superfoods in them 
and that is it. You're not getting anything extra. They're organic, non-GMO certified, glyphosate free, gluten free, and plant-based. You won't find any added artificial sweeteners, no stevia, no additives, no preservatives, no artificial flavors, no fillers, nothing like that. One thing I love and why I continue to stick with your super is the fact that they're so transparent. They have 100% transparent supply chain so you know where your food is coming from. Just because of how transparent they are and how easy they make it to understand what is going in my body, they have my full trust. And that is why I recommend them to you guys. If you guys are wanting to start to implement things like superfoods into your diet, now is the time, give it a try. I'm on a hunt to just find foods that I can trust and your super has just been such a big part of that journey for me, as you guys know, in my health journey just period. And I'm absolutely just in love with the taste and just the quality of superfoods that I'm getting from them. And they just get delivered right to your door and it's just so easy. So of course you guys know I get the Superwoman bundle every time. They have two other ones on there that I love just as much. I've gotten the detox one before. They all are beneficial in their own way. It just depends on what you're looking for and they can be tailored to your lifestyle. So with the Superwoman bundle, you'll get the moon balance, which is good for your hormone balances, stabilizes my mood and my hormones. So I really, really love this one. Then we have Chocolate Lover, which is just so, so good. If you're looking for a good way to get your cacao, this tastes amazing. Then we have the Energy Bomb, and you guys know I'm trying to stay away from crazy amounts of caffeine. I replaced everything with this Energy Bomb, and I absolutely love it. It's just such a clean energy boost. And then we have Forever Beautiful, just with the name. It's just to help nourish your skin from the inside out, which I love. The flavor so versatile. I put it on salads, I put it in smoothies, and then we have the plant collagen. This can be used just to naturally boost your collagen. So I love, love this. So clean. Doesn't taste like anything. Doesn't taste weird. This one tastes really, really good. So if you guys would like to try your super, I highly, highly recommend. But if you guys want to try it, of course, I have a code for you. You can click the link in my bio and use code Alexis to get 15% off your entire order from your super. Just give you a little discount if you want to try it. Highly recommend. Now back to each eating my freaking tacos. Now back to eating my tacos. These are so good, you guys. Mm. sitting on my floor. I've done this a million times before and sorry if this is getting repetitive, but this is such a big part of my morning and so many people skip past this because they think other things are more important, but not realizing if you don't fuel yourself properly in the mornings before you give yourself to other people. I personally feel, as my opinion, you are giving people half of what you could potentially give them and it's taking you triple the amount of energy to do so because you didn't give yourself fuel in the morning when you woke up. There's so many different ways you can give yourself fuel and it doesn't have to be meditating. It doesn't have to be journaling. It could simply be going on a walk outside and just spending time outside in nature. Whether I'm walking or I'm journaling outside, I'm just kind of pouring nothing but good vibes into myself, pairing myself for the day ahead. When I need it to be a little quicker, I just come in this room and I journal. So you guys know the drill. I'm gonna be journaling. This week, I'm just gonna get really vulnerable with you guys. Really don't like, I haven't really shared any of this online and it's scary to do so. Um, I'm not gonna go into crazy details because I do like to keep some part of my life's private, but this week, uh, my dad went into the hospital and I don't really have a close relationship with my dad at all, um, but if someone is ill or something could potentially happen to somebody, you know, all that goes out the door. A lot of my trauma is from my dad and that side of the family. So when I started interacting with that part of my family, like my whole body, like I lost sleep for three days, my whole body was off, I couldn't think, my mind started racing and I'm like, what is going on? I've gone to therapy, I've done all this work, I've been feeling amazing, I started getting anxious about everything, it started falling into my work life, like it just was a lot. And thank God I went to therapy is all I'm gonna say. But I was able to use tools that I learned in therapy to help me kind of deal with it and cope. One thing I did is just journal how I feel. And I think it's so, so important. Reassured myself that I'm okay. 
I don't, I am safe and nothing bad is gonna happen to me. I'm an adult now and I can take care of myself. After the three days of having panic attacks, the fourth day, I just kind of like woke up when I, once I like got to my wits end and I was just like, okay, I can't do this. I almost just like stopped going to the hospital, like no joke. Like I literally almost just like quit. Like I was like, I'm blocking everyone's number. Like don't call me. I just get like that. I run, I'm a runner. But after the fourth day, I talked myself through it. I journaled and I was just able to be okay knowing that I set my boundaries. If my limits crossed, I could leave. No one's holding me captive. If I feel threatened, like I don't have to protect myself by being anxious anymore. So I've been working on that. So that's what I've been journaling and just kind of working through that. It brought up a lot of old things. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm still working some, some anxiety. So I'm just gonna journal how I'm feeling and try to figure out what I can do for myself today and figure out what I need today. So anything I'm feeling right now doesn't affect the rest of my day and bleed into it. And I just address it right now, take care of it right now so I can have a really productive day. And that way I'm not running around feeling drained all day because of my emotions and my mind. What I'm doing recently is my last video before this where I talk about getting my life together and I'm working on a few goals. So I'm manifesting these specific goals and working on getting there. I have like a two year plan. I wanna accomplish a lot this year, like life changing things this year. I wanna make sure I'm focusing on that. I'm visualizing that, writing it down, saying it out loud and just really honing in that energy to be able to do it, but also realize the action I need to take to get there. I'll read you an example of what I write. So I basically do this for each one of my goals and I read it out loud every single morning to myself. Do your best to really, really feel the words you're saying and you'll see a shift in your mood and just the way you feel surrounding that goal, even if you're not the most confident in it. Um, and more you say this, the more it'll feel like it's real. I say, I am so grateful for my 100,000 subscribers. I have on my YouTube channel. I love the amazing, kind, loving community I've built where like-minded people can come together and truly connect. Sometimes I go into more detail, but that's basically the gist of what I do. And as I'm saying it, I like to just spend time, I like to visualize it, and I say it for each one of my goals. It just gets you in a mindset for the day. That's why I like doing these. So I'm just gonna finish off by saying my manifestations and saying my affirmations. I am amazing, I am lovable, I am talented, I am important. I am unique and I am supported. I am powerful, I am loved, I am blessed, and I'm open to receive. I am in the vibration with the frequency of success. I am balanced, I am peaceful, I am beautiful, I am calm, I am relaxed. Now I just wanna say some things that I'm just grateful for. Big part of anxiety is focusing on things that you don't have or that could happen. How I fix that is stop focusing on things that I lack and things that I do have. And focusing on what I have rather than what I lack is such a big anxiety killer and it helps me through it so much. So try doing that. And a good way for me to do that is to say what I'm grateful for. And sometimes I'll say this or I'll just close this and just really feel what I'm grateful for right now in the moment. Like, I am grateful for my life. I am grateful for my family. I am grateful for Roberto and his love. I am grateful for my home. I am grateful for my job as a YouTuber. I am grateful for my job as a publisher. I am grateful for my subscribers. I am grateful for my followers. I am grateful for all the growth that I experience in every area of my life on a daily basis. So that is basically it. And I really just spend time doing this. Healing is an everyday process and I wanna be at least more knowledgeable and more healed than I am right now. So I can just tell it from the most beautiful standpoint ever. We're just getting our shit together. We're figuring it out every single day and getting our shit together together as a community. And I hope these help. I know, I don't know if these parts of my videos are getting boring. I love sharing this part with you. Such a big part of my morning routine. And if you guys could take the time 10 minutes to do it on your way to work or just stop and take time for you i highly recommend get a journal try it out and just see how you feel okay so now it is that time of the day i'm kind of feeling a little lazy i'm not gonna lie do i want to go to the gym right now no i don't i really don't i really really don't but what is motivating me is my progress that i got i seen last week I'm lit, I'm on fire right now, I just wanna keep going. So if you have not seen it yet, check out my video that I posted on Wednesday, Lauren Geraldo's workout that I did for 12-3-30 experience. I, I walk you through how I did it and everything I did. It's not that long of a workout, it's only 30 minutes and 
Um, I'm seeing amazing results and I just don't want to stop this progress. That is the way I'm talking myself into going to the gym. Do 12 free 30 with me right now. Right now, we're gonna go do it together. <laughs> Let's get our workout clothes on. So I couldn't find the matching top to these bread pants. So I'm just wearing a different top, but it's still cute, still goes. Um, so if anybody's wondering, cause I always get these questions, but this top is from Set Active. It's just their little off the shoulder, cute top. And these are the bottoms from Allo Yoga. But what your girl is gonna do is add this sweatband. I got this from Fit with Cambry, but I don't really support her that much anymore. But I will find one that's similar to this and link it down below. But especially around my hips, I make sure it's like low. The pouch covered. And I just wear it like this. Right under. If anybody is wondering, these shoes are from Nike. So I'm here. I made it into the gym. There's no one in here for the first time ever. I feel like this gym is filled with people all the time, so I can never like film freely like I want to. But I'm on the treadmill. I'm about to do my 12 through 30. You guys will see me. I'm literally a believer of 12 through 30 now. I'm choosing it over my expensive gym down the street because the results are there. <laughs> you gotta go where the results are. The amount of sweat I produce during this workout just gives me so much satisfaction. I feel like that's why you just see the pounds drop off, like you're getting rid of so much stuff inside your body. Oh, but we finished, we're all done. There's literally sweat everywhere. There's literally sweat. Look at, look at that big sweat spot. So, I just got done from my workout. I'm gonna hop in the shower. That shower was much needed, I feel so good. But I have to show you guys my little bathroom setup because uh, my mom has been helping me organize my house because I just, with all the work I do, it's really hard to keep track of sometimes so she's been helping me and she look at the way she helped me set up my bathroom first let me show you this it's such a good idea to put baby's breath in the bathroom i never thought about it but it's such a dainty calming plant and it just kind of brings a different aura and then i just have my myers hand soap here which is my fave in the scent lavender what i've been doing lately is leaving out my skincare on the counter i usually hate that but I'm not using it, so I like to just put it out here to see what I have. I put them together, so I have my serums here, I have my um, moisturizers, lotions here, and then my face wash that I love using, and then my hair care here. When I wash my face, I've been using kind of a hot rag to get everything off, but look at these cute towels that I got. I got them from Target and they're such high quality and I just love the look of them. I feel like it elevated my bathroom to the next level. I think this is my favorite part. So I got this basket from Target and we just rolled up all the clean towels and put them in there. That way it's easy for me to grab. I also have another one of these in the guest bathroom. I just think it looks so cute. Like I swear to God, my mom has a talent at organizing. So I wanted to show you guys my skincare. I don't get acne on my face, but I do have hyperpigmentation and texture. But what I have been getting lately is mask me. And I've never experienced acne in my life before, so it's really annoying and I really didn't know what to do. My favorite go-to cleanser right now is the one from Curology. You guys know this, I love Curology. I feel like my face feels super clean, but not completely stretchy, dry feeling, like it just ripped everything out, which is what you wanna look for. So. I'm gonna wash my face with this Curology cleanser. And I just pat my face, I don't pull. Um, another thing I've been using is Paula's Choice. They sent me this peel and it has 25% AHA and then plus 2% BHA and it's an exfoliant peel rinse off treatment. So you just wear it for 10 minutes and then you take it off. When they sent me that, I loved it so much. I went, I had to go pick up their liquid exfoliant, which I've heard all, I've heard people rave about. I love it. Just like putting this on my face in the morning and at night, hyaluronic acid um, from Crocs. I'm not sure how to say it. I said it wrong in the last video and I got like 10 comments saying, girls, that's not how you say it, but you know me, I speak my own language over here. And now I'm going in with the Ordinary Alpha Serum. I love this stuff. I see such a difference. And when you're putting on multiple serums, you need to wait like a couple minutes in between to make sure it soaks into your skin or you're literally doing nothing. I'm using my Truth Serum, Ole Hendrickson, my moisturizer. I absolutely, I actually really love this stuff. Um, I do want to find a cleaner moisturizer, but I actually really love this stuff. Like, And then I'm going to go in with my Truth 
eye brightening cream from Ole Henderson as well. And then once this is all used, all gone, I'm gonna be on the hunt for like the most natural skincare ever, but really, really good. Like that works just as good as this. Do you know what I mean? So look out for that. That is my skincare, basically all the things that I do, I've been loving and it's really, really helped reduce my maskne when I do this. I will go more in depth in another video about my skincare. But also, I know he. this is not the healthiest ingredients ever. This is changing my skin so much for my body skin. So for my girls that have hyperpigmentation on your skin, on your body skin, you have to try these. So they're the Dr. Dennis Gross Exfoliating Body Treatments. They instantly polish. They help visibly dry skin. They visibly reduce blemishes or uneven skin tone. So like, like I was saying, how I sometimes get blemishes on my butt or my back, help with ingrown hairs and KP, and they smooth in your skin. It's like a body exfoliant sheet. Um, basically what you do is you take it out and you just kind of just rub on all the areas that you want to do it. So you kind of keep it folded. So it says, so you're supposed to do it two times a week. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my butt, but I'm not going to obviously show that. If you guys know of any other better products for this exact thing, let me know. Please help a girl out. But so far, this is what I've been using. And then lastly, you guys know I can't go anywhere without my lip gloss. Ever. My lips are so dry. That means I'm dehydrated. I need to, get, I need to drink water. Okay, and this is the finished product. Mm. Okay, let's go get ready for the day. Okay, so I just got changed and oh my God. If you don't know who Julia Havens is, she's here on YouTube. She has the cutest vlog channel with her husband and she was on Instagram and she had this sweatsuit on and she linked it and I was like, that is the cutest sweatsuit ever and she says it's her go-to it's the comfiest thing and so i was like i'm all for a sweatsuit and it's so affordable it's insane so and the color like you know this is my vibe y'all know neutrals all day i love the way it looks distressed it is the most comfy material not too heavy it says ofcl studio i'm not sure who that is but i'll link it below if it's still available she says it gets sold out a lot and then restocked so it's from boohoo though it, and it, it is so nice, like cute, everything. So I will definitely be rocking this today. So we are in my office. You guys know what that means. Time to get to work. I have been so busy lately and I've been sticking to my list, that thing that I've been making. I actually love this. Okay, so I finished my to-do list. Um, all I have to do is eat breakfast, film this video I'm currently filming right now upload tomorrow's video and edit thumbnail for tomorrow go grocery shopping and then you stop by the bank so those are all the things i gotta get done today so let's get into it let's get into it so now that it's later in the day i like to make myself a like, kind of like a midday healthy alcohol free cocktail of course it's healthy and it's going to have benefits to me performing better in my day so your super actually came out with a new superfood mix and it is called gut feeling and when i tell you you guys you guys know i've had problems with my gut bloating the whole nine and when i tell you i heard about this I could cry. So I'm gonna make myself a little beverage, just a nice fresh glass. For my people out there that are experiencing gut issues, I know I get questions all the time about bloating and things like that. So this probiotic superfood mix is an instant celery juice. Completely eliminates the step of having to juice celery, which is, everybody knows, annoying. Contains naturally digestive enzymes, reduces constipation, gas, bloating, and of course, supports digestive health. It's just full of good ingredients that actually benefit you, and it's just not a waste of a product sitting on your shelf, especially if you suffer with any of that, you know, abdominal pain, bloating, gas, constipation. You need this in your life. It helps with all of that. There's just so much good stuff. I got a gut feeling. You need gut feeling. That's just how I'm going to be. I'm just going to say that. Now that I am got my to-do list, I'm going to work on a few emails really quick. And basically that sums up my morning routine. I know this one is long. Make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Talk to me. Say hello. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Try to hit 10K over there. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.